Hi and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So if you're like me and enjoy scanning the bands using your favorite software defined radio, then check this out. Recently, as most of you know, I have a new antenna installed at the home QTH, the Comet GP95N. Now this antenna covers VHF and UHF along with 23 centimeters, which equates to around 1.2 to 1.3 gigahertz. So with my Adam Pluto connected and using SDR console, I started to scan the 23 centimeter band. Now it wasn't long until I came across a beacon transmitting its ident around 1.296 gigahertz. Now after some internet research and considering my location, I discovered that this transmitting beacon was in fact Golf Bravo 3 Delta Uniform November located in Dunstable. Now, I'm not particularly close to Dunstable, so I was quite surprised to receive it. I also noticed on the UK Repeaters website that they also have a beacon transmitting on 24 gigahertz. Now, I don't have any equipment here to receive that just yet. After receiving this signal and finding out what it was, I remembered that there is another significant transmitter on 23 centimeters from roughly the same area. So using SDR console again, I scanned the band even higher and I discovered this, a constant one megahertz wide transmission. Now this spanned from 1.318 to 1.319 gigahertz. I quickly realized that this was a transmission from GB3TV, a ham radio digital TV repeater, also located near Dunstable. Now, after scratching my head momentarily, trying to figure out how I can decode this or demodulate it, I came up with two solutions. So the first would be to use something like a hardware receiver, maybe a satellite receiver or the mini tuner, which is popular in the DAT TV world. By the way, if anyone wants to sell me a mini tuner, then please drop me an email. As I didn't have the first hardware option, I went with the second, and that was to use the Adam Pluto, but with a different piece of software called SDR Angel. Now I have covered SDR Angel in the past on the channel, and it's an awesome piece of software, which any SDR enthusiast should have in their arsenal of software packages. As well as being able to receive GB3 TV, SDR Angel should also be able to decode it or demodulate it, and then display on screen what's being transmitted. So firstly, I loaded up SDR Angel on my Windows computer. Once running, I made sure I have the Adam Pluto selected as my connected SDR, and then I set the receive frequency of 1.3185 gigahertz. Now, as soon as I press the play button, the signal is shown well-defined in the output scope and waterfall. So on the channel section of SDR Angel, I needed to load the DAT TV demodulator. So from the list, I selected DA TV demodulator and a new window appeared. Now this is where it can get slightly trial and error, especially if you're not familiar with DA TV reception settings. Knowing the symbol rate of the transmission will be a good start, along with whether the transmission is DVB or DVB2. Now I adjusted the receive bandwidth so it's just a smidge larger than the receive transmission, but once you have a lock, you can dial this back down again to gain a better signal to noise ratio. Now as a visual aid for a good reception, you can keep an eye on the constellation window, trying to ensure all those little particles are close to the little dots. Once you have a video lock, the little round circle next to the word video will turn green and you'll start to see a data speed appear along with how much data has been received already. With your Nan's fingers, arms and legs crossed, you can click the video tab and hope to see a demodulated video output like this. Now this is just the test transmission coming from GB3 TV and unfortunately no one was transmitting to it on the input frequency when I was recording this video. Hopefully you'll have more luck when you try this with your nearest DATV repeater. Now another cheap antenna that could possibly work for this would be a cheap log periodic antenna that you can pick up on AliExpress. It's pretty much an antenna on a PCB. I'll leave a link in the description to this one, but as you can see, just by connecting it up to the Pluto SDR and then hanging it out of my office window, I can receive the signal from GB3 TV, although I couldn't hold it still enough and adjust for a decent demodulation. I guess if I was to hold it still or work out some kind of mounting, it would probably work. I'd just like to say a massive thank you to all my YouTube members and patrons who really do help towards content on this channel. And also a massive thank you to all you viewers and subscribers who enjoy watching my videos. Don't forget, as a YouTube member or Patreon member, you get to see my videos a little earlier than they are released. Well, mostly. Until the next video, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.